Yo, what is going on, YouTube? I am Germ here. Right now, we are live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore Germ. We're hanging out, talking all things League of Legends esports. Definitely drop by sometime if you guys want to hang out with us and, and talk about some things, but also see the news happen live. It's way more fun. It's way more exciting. Um, drop us a follow to so you know when we're going live. Also, maybe you have a Twitch Prime to drop us as well. Today, we're talking about some big, big news coming out of the LEC. This is the big news every single day. We're always talking about these LEC slots who's selling who's coming who's going and what's happening next um, there's just so much news going on right now uh, and it's it's really the biggest story because you know we're just not quite into free agency yet yes a couple teams have been knocked out of the playoffs but there's still so many teams still left in the playoffs and in world's contention and all this stuff um, so we're not to the playoffs yet we can't get to the juicy stuff we can't get to roster transfers and roster rumors but there are teams trying to buy and sell both LEC and LCS slots, so we definitely have that to talk about at least. And today, Esports Maniacos was all over the scene. They were dropping all kinds of bombs, all kinds of news. And this was one of the tweets that they put out um, talking about K Corp and, and what their chances are looking like to get into the LEC but also uh, what that means for some of the other teams as well and how that's going to affect everyone. Because, you know, the whole thing, off-season, LEC slots, LCS slots, it's all domino effect. Once one team figures out what they're doing or does something, it makes all these other dominoes fall. And we saw that Heretics was able to get the Misfit slot and that put pressure on some other teams. Maybe that put pressure on Koi to get the deal done with Rogue. And now, you know, that's a couple dominoes falling. The, the teams that are left are feeling the pressure. The Navis, the K-Corp, the Phases. Um, we're running out of LEC slots. If they want to get in the league next year, they're going to have to start upping their offers. They're going to have to start making some deals. They're going to have to start getting some things done. So uh, apparently Alejandro Gomez was on uh, Esports Maniacos uh, and he had some things to say. Obviously it's in Spanish. We got to go with the good old Google Translate. And they said, uh, Anoni Motum, I, I don't know how you say his Twitter name. I don't even know why that's his Twitter name, but he says, him, Alejandro Gomez, and the chances of K Corp entering the LEC in 2023. He says he think. He thinks that there is few, I, I think he's saying that there are few chances for them to enter the LEC. He says everything can change, but he says right now he thinks they are few. So he is not super, super excited about K Corp's prospects for next year. And I think this is the boat that a lot of people are in. At one point, everyone was saying K Corp to the LEC in 2023. But those talks, those, those screams, they've started to fade. They've started to die out a little bit because one... This thing is just really, really freaking expensive. You know, we're, we're seeing we're seeing these teams drop 20, 30, 40 million on these slots and, and some crazy, crazy valuations and some crazy, crazy competition. Uh, and we know that the, the misfit slot went to the highest bidder. So we know Heretics was willing to pay more money than FaZe, than Navi, than K Corp, than Koi. Just like straight up, who's who wants this slot? The, the team that stepped up and spent the most money was Heretic. So then we know all the other teams, they're trying to spend less money. And if you're not trying to be the highest bidder, if you're trying to spend less money, you're going to have to get some kind of combo deal going. You're going to have to go 50-50 with another team. You're going to have to only get 50% of the slot. You're going to have to give something up if you don't want to give up money. That's what's making it hard for a lot of these teams. Uh, and I've been saying this, hey, K Corp, they're running out of time. They're running out of options. There's no more Misfit slot. There's no more Rogue slot. Yeah, maybe Mad Lions wants to sell. Maybe they want to merge with somebody. Yeah, maybe Astralis is going to sell. Maybe SK is going to sell. Um, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're all going to sit on their slots and see if these things are going to keep going up and up and up in value. Uh, and while K Corp is, yeah, probably going to try and raise more money and make more money, uh, the slots are also going to be getting more expensive as well. So somebody's going to have to give. Um, and Alejandro does say that, hey, K Corp is still in the fight for the spot. And this is what Cometo has said as well. He's like, yeah, even though there hasn't been a lot of great news recently, don't worry. We are not out of this yet. Cometo also said that once they are out of it, that he's going to let us know. I don't know if that's going to be on Twitter, if they're going to put out some content or whatever, but um, he still seems like he is down to fight. He still, still seems like uh, there is some opportunity for K Corp to make it in the LEC, but just know that Alejandro, he doesn't think it looks great. And also we know Eros has said he doesn't think it looks great either because Eros has gone out and said that he doesn't think Astralis is going to sell. He's saying that nobody's going to come up and meet the asking price of Astralis. Um, so that would make it really, really hard for K-Corp to get in. And then of course, if K-Corp doesn't get in, What's going to happen to Reckless? What's going to happen to Cabo? What's going to happen to even a guy like Saken, um, who has had overall a pretty decent year in the ERLs? Is he going to make a push for the LEC? Um, are all those players going to hang out in the ERLs once again? Who knows? But um, those are definitely going to be some interesting, uh, interesting free agents. But the spiciest thing out of this whole tweet to me was this. Alejandro drops this bomb on us at the very end. He says, 
phase is the best positioned team for the Astralis spot. And again, that is more bad news for K-Corp because one of the other spots that's potentially available is Astralis. And if FaZe is the best position, whether that means um, that they, you know, are the most enticing offer to Astralis or they're just offering the most money or they just have the most money to offer or they're showing the most interest, interest in it right now, I don't exactly know for sure. Um, but again, if Astralis or if FaZe is the best lined up for that one, then that's even one less spot for K-Corp to get into. And it's also just more competition for K-Corp for, for all of these spots. Um, but this is very, very interesting. Obviously, FaZe is a, a North American organization, so seeing them potentially go over into the LEC uh, would be interesting. I think FaZe has, has done some things in European uh, esports before, so I don't think this would be like totally unprecedented or anything like that. Um, also, just knowing that FaZe is a publicly traded company now. I mean, I'm sure that also has uh, opened up their wallets a little bit. I'm sure they have some, you know, uh, money to spend that they got from uh, actually going public and actually having some of these investors' money and stuff like that. But also, it incentivizes them to do big things, and it incentivizes them to have to, uh, you know, answer to investors. And if they went out and they were able to get an LEC slot, they're able to get one of the most valuable assets in all of esports. Yeah, maybe it's not pretty to spend 30, 40, 50 million or something like that, but maybe that gets your investors really, really excited. Maybe that stock price pops. Maybe the future of phase all of a sudden looks really, really bright and looks really, really attractive. Uh, and they could get some of this paid uh, in their stock price going up as well. That is definitely very, very possible. Um, but again, in this whole thing, and I, and I, you know, I tweeted about this and I talked about it. I said, according to Alejandro Gomez, he believes that FaZe are the front runner for the Astralis LEC slot at this time. And I said here, that does not mean that the slot is going to get sold just if it does. Because again, everyone has said Astralis is probably not going to sell. Maybe they're interested in selling, but is anyone going to meet their offer? This doesn't mean that Astralis is selling. This doesn't mean FaZe is coming into the LEC. It just means that FaZe are the front runners, and it means if Astralis does sell at this point in time, it's looking most likely like it would be to FaZe. And I think that's very, very interesting. Also, it's kind of interesting to me that FaZe is potentially passing up on some LCS slots to go into the LEC. It also begs the question, is FaZe interested in any of those LCS slots? Because we've heard some people say that there doesn't seem to be a lot of interest for those LCS slots, especially in, at the same prices of these LEC slots right now. Um, so I don't know. Is FaZe going to try and buy one of those? Are they going to keep going hard for the LEC slot? Are they going to end up in the LEC? Because um, I don't know. Obviously, FaZe is a very, very controversial org, but they're definitely a popular org. They're definitely a big org. Uh, and I mean, you start to have Koi and FaZe and G2 and Fnatic. Man, the LEC starts to get really, really fun. The LEC starts to get very, very interesting. Um, I don't know if this is going to happen. I don't know if this is going to get done, but, uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but, but this is the latest. This is what we're hearing right now that overall things are not looking great for K Corp, probably trending downwards. Things are looking pretty good for phase trending a little bit upwards. Um, but still at this point in time, nothing official, nothing's done. Um, but there is new updates every single day. So you guys definitely want to stay tuned um, because this is going to be big whenever this goes down, whatever happens. I'm also, of course, very, very interested to see what the prices people are going to pay, what the valuation, what the deals they get done, all of that stuff. Um, you know, maybe Astralis and FaZe go 50-50 or 60-40 or 40-60 or whatever. I don't know. There's all different kinds of options right now. And then, of course, for any of these teams that come into the LEC, for Heretics, FaZe, Koi, whoever, um, are you going to come in and are you going to spend money? Are you going to be aggressive in free agency? Are you going to have an interesting, exciting team to hopefully build an exciting, interesting brand to actually help out the LEC? Or are you going to be a team BDS, sit on the slot and, and you know ultimately be a pretty irrelevant team that nobody really gives a shit about? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. That would uh, be so, so awesome. I would really, really appreciate that. Again, as always, come check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.